Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest fellow Cancers. This is going to be your general love and romance reading for December 2020. Um, before I get started, I'm just going to ask that you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, feel free to check out the description box on ways you can get a private reading or, the, or how you can get your hands on the decks that I'm using. Sorry, <laughs> having trouble getting that one out. All right, let's go ahead and see what's in store for my dearest fellow Cancers for love and romance, December 2020. So messages for my Cancers, December 2020, love and romance. Look at that. I'm going to take it. Star card. Some of you guys have Aquarius in your chart, or you might be connected to an Aquarius. Some of you guys are healing, but most of all, Spirit wants you to know you're on the right path. Absolutely. Trust your inner guidance, your intuition, as you have been, because you are on the right path. Wow, we get hanged man energy. Some of you guys might be dealing with a Pisces, Neptunian energy, or just might feel like things are a little bit stagnant. Okay, but there's a purpose for it. All right, so you get the Emperor, Aries energy. Hmm. All right, the Nine of Cups. We get the Page of Cups. Okay. Let me just get these straight. All right, we get the Nine of Wands. Could be dealing with a past life soulmate here. Um, and we get the Two of Wands. Wow, could be Twin Flame energy as well. Okay. All right, the overall energy here is the Five of Swords. So this is more Aquarius energy, you guys. Um, I do feel like for some of my Cancers out there, we are talking about a twin flame journey. Um, the reason I say that, the Five of Swords can often be, for me, about a runner. This is Venus in Aquarius, and Aquarius has an energy of detachment to it. So it could be somebody who is walking away um, because there's a little bit of a fear of this deep connection. For others of you, um, my Cancers out there, you may have been dealing with somebody who was a bully or who was emotionally manipulative, but you also really need to take a look at your views, what you're telling yourself about love. What is it that you're fighting for? Okay, and picking your battles wisely, because I do see that there was a bit of conflict around this situation. Okay, um, but we do see the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so it looks like something here maybe came to an end. It could be a previous relationship or it could be you and this person. Um, the Pentacles, somebody made a decision. Somebody called it. Someone was like, mm -mm, this isn't working for me. Tower, because there was somebody was resisting change. I feel like some of my Cancers, you or your person, um, there was an ultimatum involved and somebody was resisting either moving in together, getting married, being monogamous, whatever it was some sort of up leveling in the relationship somebody here was resisting it and i feel like i feel like it was maybe you cancer who called it and you said you know what i can't do this anymore i'm not going to be in limbo i'm not going to you know what i i know what i want and i think you ended things okay um, we do see the Ace of Wands. Spirit wants you to know that there was divine intervention here involved and that this is a blessing. You are being blessed with a new beginning. This new beginning will come after healing. And it's, you know, this is the card of temperance, which is the energy of Sagittarius. So they're telling me here that this, the time is now, okay? And there will be something worth celebrating. It could be a reunion for some of you, okay? Or it could be a completely new connection. So yeah, Cancers, you guys have been through a lot, but I feel like you guys really bossed up, stepped into your power. You said, you know what? This doesn't work for me. Sorry. You know, I can't, I can't sit in limbo. I'm not going to. So you guys are showing up as the star card. So the star comes after the tower. So after a very difficult upheaval, um, breakup, separation, divorce, whatever it might be. And, you know, this is about finding peace. This is about healing. This is spirit telling you you're on the right track. You're doing, you're doing exactly what you supposed, you're supposed to do. And things are getting easier. Things are getting better. In your surroundings, some of you, again, might be dealing with a Pisces. 
um, with the hanged man energy. I feel like you guys, um, but more than anything, my cancers have really gone within to process this change, to process this transformation. And I feel like you're, I feel like you're going through a major glow up. I think you're really taking a look at what was holding you back, why maybe you were holding on to a situation that wasn't quite healthy for you, or maybe it was a way of thinking um, about love and relationships. And maybe you're realizing exactly what you were holding on to the most you needed to let go. And I feel like you have, you've suspended yourself, you've let go, you're allowing, you know, the, the hanged man often has coins in his pocket that also fall out, you know, and you're letting the universe just sort of take control. Some of you cut your losses. Some of you maybe had assets with this person or a shared home and that sort of thing. And you decided that your happiness was worth more than anything. And this is so powerful cancer, so powerful. Um, some of you um, may also be, you know, you may, there may have been a love offer that kicked off for you um, after this, uh, the situation I was talking about after the, um, you know, after a difficult separation or breakup. Um, there may have been a love offer, but you might feel like things are moving really slowly to the, with the, to the point where like they're not moving at all. So what's blocking you? We do have the emperor. So this is Aries energy. Again, some of you might be dealing with a, um, with a Pisces or an Aries or a Cusper there. Um, but the emperor, um, somebody here has really put up their boundaries and cancer, to be honest, it could be you. Um, it could be that you are, you know, you have this newfound power. Um, you definitely, you know, you're, you're feel you're in your feels, but you're like, you know what? I got this, you know, I'm not going to put up with anything less than, you know, what I want, what I need, that sort of energy. Um, but spirit is saying that, you know, that when it comes to love, you may need to release a little bit of control. Now, for others of you, my cancers, there was a, a new beginning and there was an offer and it may have come from this emperor energy. It could be, I just got like a boss or somebody that you work with, um, or it could be somebody who's in a place of authority. And I feel like you have opened yourself up to love cancer. Some of you, some of you haven't, um, but you're just sort of going with the flow and you're like, I know what I want. You know, my wishes are coming true. I'm manifesting. But somebody that you're dealing with may have pulled back a little bit, okay? So I want you to, if you're Gemini, Cancer, Cusp, a lot of Pisces energy came out in that reading. And we have Pisces in your surroundings. So there might be messages for you in that Gemini reading, okay? Or if you have Gemini in your chart. Um, the Aries energy, this person, again, you might be dealing with somebody who, um, you know, who's very focused on business, who's very focused on their work and has set up their boundaries. Okay. So that's something to think about. Um, the nine of cups energy is what spirit wants you to, wants you to know about this situation that your wishes are being fulfilled. So you are, this reading is you have the nine of cups and the nine of wands. This is, this is you are completing a very difficult cycle, Cancer. You are, I feel like you see yourself as a different person when it comes to love and relationships. Spirit wants you to know with the star card and with the nine of cups energy, your wishes are being fulfilled. What you have wished on is coming true. What you've been trying to manifest is coming true. That the universe has heard your prayers is answering your prayers. And that's a beautiful energy. Page of Cups. Um, many of my cancers, you guys never thought you would love again. Or maybe you thought you were too old to you know, be dating again. Or maybe you thought you would never feel the way you felt about this previous person with somebody else. But I feel like there has been some sort of love offer. Some of you are feeling like a kid again. Some of you guys are feeling like, wow, I haven't felt this way since I was a teenager. Some of you are really starting to feel giddy and excited about whatever this love offer is. Um, and it may have, I just keep, it may be with this emperor, but I feel like there's a little bit of stalling around this situation because the other person may have their boundaries up. The nine of wands is what you need to think about or what's coming in from above. So for many of you guys, there's a new connection coming in and it's a soulmate. It's a past life soulmate. I don't get that it's necessarily from this lifetime. I feel like it's a new energy. But Cancer, it's also time and it's also very important for you to take some time out for yourself, especially if you're feeling a little bit beat up or you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. This is the Wounded Warrior, so it does talk about this Five of Swords, everything that you've been through. You've been through a difficult ending. You've been rounding out a difficult cycle. And you've been doing it with such grace and it's been so awesome is what I can see. But don't get stuck on the linear timeline of, you know, um, 
of having to go, go, go. Make sure you celebrate your smaller successes. Also, some of my cancers out there, it's important to know that you don't have to jump into a relationship after the ending of another one, okay? Because for some of you, you it's like one person to the next. Spirit's saying take some time out for yourself just so you can heal, so you can enjoy, you know, maybe spend time with your children, um, really maybe enjoy your work, enjoy, you know, whatever it might be, time in the garden or decorating the house, whatever it might be. Okay, because you deserve it, because you've been through so much. Now, you then you get the two of wands. So this can sometimes rec represent a twin flame energy um, because we've got these two sort of flaming candle wands next to them. Um, this is somebody who's at a crossroads. This is somebody who has the world at his fingertips. Spirit wants you to know that you have so many options. They're infinite. The choice is yours which direction you want to go in. You're also reviewing the past. You're reviewing the present. You're reviewing like your possibilities in the future so that you can take appropriate action. But Spirit says don't get too stuck in your head because, you know, we're taking care of the rest. What you've asked for is definitely coming in. You're closing out a very tough cycle, Cancer, and you deserve the world. <clears throat> The Two of Wands also is a card of waiting. I, I do feel like some of you are, you know, you might be this page of uh, page of cups. You might be waiting for this emperor energy because with the emperor, I'm getting that it's not so much your energy. I feel like it's somebody that you may be waiting on, okay? And they've set up boundaries for whatever reason. Or maybe they have to complete something before they can move towards you. But it's a very strong energy. And with the Two of Wands here, it's like you're kind of waiting for things to kick off. But you're in this holding pattern here with this hanged man energy. All right. And for some of you, you don't know who this person is, but you're waiting for love. And Spirit says, don't worry. It's coming. Let's go ahead and see what else comes through for my dear Cancers. All right. We get deceit. We get the door to personal healing and happiness. We get the healer of ages. Wow, lots of healing taking place. And we get the first chakra, Archangel Michael. Yeah, beautiful. So what I'm getting here, oh, and look, you get the temple path. This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. This is telling me that there is a very strong spiritual connection that's either in your life, in your energetic field, or coming towards you. We see these orbs, okay? These orbs are your spirit guides. It's spirit nudging you along this path. Trust your intuition, the star card, because you're on the right path. What you have wished for, what you are praying for is coming to fruition. The deceit card is interesting because I do feel like it has to do with this five of swords energy. Okay, so I feel like you have been deceived in the past. You have, you were dealing with somebody who was either gaslighting or emotionally manipulative or maybe was spinning you a story that they just were never planning on backing up. Okay. And, um, and I feel like this is the energy that's behind you. Okay. Um, 34 door to personal healing and happiness and healer of the ages. Now, most of my cancers out there, you guys are empaths and many of you guys are also healers, but I do feel like, you know, you guys coming out as the star card are telling me that you are healing from this past situation from these past traumas from these past betrayals and you i mean this two healing cards and the star card coming out you have been you're healing something um you've been working so hard for this but you're also now surrendering to it you're allowing it to happen and we get the first chakra archangel michael you're being protected on this journey your love your heart your family is being protected it is safe for you to love cancer Okay, whereas many of you thought it wouldn't be, many of you may have given up on love or faith that you, you know, that you could love again after what you've been through. And you know what Spirit's saying? It's coming. It's happening. The root chakra is also talking about, you know, it's about survival. And again, it's about what you've been through has been so difficult, but you have survived and now that's being healed and that painful cycle coming to an end. You have something completely new in store for you, but you're free. You are free to choose cancer. All right. We get past life relationship. I told you it's a past life soul connection. Um, deception coming out twice. Wow. Okay. 
All right, so many of you guys are feeling, um, I think, I feel like many of you, whatever this Five of Swords, whatever this ending was, this Two of Pentacles, somebody that may have been juggling, um, or whatever decision was made to end this, um, was because you realized that somebody was being deceptive. You may have also been, in a way, Cancer, lying to yourself, like ignoring red flags, telling yourself, yes, this is my person because you wanted to be in union out of, and don't take this the wrong way, not out of fear, but because you didn't want to be alone or, um, or, you know, you, or because you really wanted union, but, but, but not coming from, you know, a positive place of love. And so I think many of you guys, you're working through that, um, and you're healing that energy. Okay, we get romantic feelings. Your romantic feelings are real and worth exploring. I also feel like Cancer, many of you guys were beating yourselves up about being tricked or by falling into this situation or a similar situation again. And Spirit wants you to know that you are no fool, that don't be hard on yourself. This was a, there was a very difficult life lesson that you needed to learn and your feelings were real. It's not your fault that somebody was being deceptive, okay? And then we get stay optimistic about your love life. Beautiful. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Having faith. Okay. And I'm going to pull one more card. We get you deserve love because cancer, you absolutely deserve love. Absolutely. We get express your love. Okay. So don't be afraid to express your feelings. All right. Let's go ahead and see what else comes through for my dear cancers. We get love. Oh, cancer. <laughs> oh, so I'm getting love yourself first. Many of you guys have also come into alignment and you're understanding that when you're in alignment and you have that balance within, this is what's bringing in this past life relationship, this soulmate. Forgiveness. I forgive myself. I am forgiven. So yeah, many of you guys, that's coming through really strong. You guys have been struggling with forgiving yourself for being duped or being deceived, okay, by a karmic, okay, by a karmic relationship. And you know what Spirit's saying? Yeah, your feelings were real. You don't have anything to feel bad about. Don't be mad at yourself. This was a life lesson. It's something you signed up to learn. And many of you are sort of kicking yourself or saying, I'm so stupid. I know better. I ignored the red flags. Spirit's saying, absolutely not. This is all part of your healing. This is all part of your journey. And we get abundance. Look at that. This is what's coming towards you. Because you guys, when you guys are forgiving yourself and you're transmuting the energy of any sort of negative situation, you're, you're also spending that time in healing and leaning into feelings and understanding what was blocking you, what was blocking your abundance, that flow to love. And oftentimes love and money are sort of, are, are sort of intertwined, really opening yourself up to love after the difficulties that you've been through. That is never easy, Cancer. Okay. All right. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Yeah, so you guys are definitely also going through some sort of enlightenment. I feel like you're getting a much higher perspective when it comes to love and relationships, whereas you may have been, you know, sort of, you may have learned some lessons about, you know, like about marriage or about commitment and just wanting to do it because it's what you were supposed to do or, you know, that seemed like the best option at the time. But I feel like you've definitely gotten some downloads and some spiritual insight on love, okay? On love and getting this higher perspective, which were definitely supported by this Gemini Sagittarius axis, right? To get the bigger picture. And for those of you who are on a twin flame journey, again, understanding that by no means is that a normal sort of relationship, but also that your union has positive implications, not only for your, your ascension as one soul, but also for the collective, okay? So I feel like many of you are coming into that understanding. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. 
And remember, this um, Aries, this emperor energy, release control, Cancer. Step into the flow. I feel like you guys are doing that, but there may be a little bit of resistance to let the universe take over for a while, okay? And then we got my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time and nothing is missing. So Cancer, your person is out there. Your person is thinking about you. You guys may not be currently in union, but they want you to know that you have the you have the soul planes, you have the astral planes. For spiritually, we are always united. So your soulmate or your twin is out there, okay? I love you guys so much. Thank you for listening. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.